Hey guys, so in this video, I want to try something a little bit different and show you a tutorial on how I edit some of my photos. Now this is, this tutorial is gonna be kind of like a visco type of film look. I think personally it applies very nicely to natural light type of shoots or shots, but in this case, I'm gonna apply it to my OCF shot. It's a really easy edit, maybe six to eight steps. It's really not hard to do at all. And in the end, you can actually create actions so you can apply it across the board to all your images. All right, let's get started. So this is the image we're gonna use in our example of our model, Sammy, and I'll put a link in the description below if you, in case you wanna see the behind the scenes of how I created this shot here. But in any case, let's get started. Again, it's really simple, six steps and you're pretty much done. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add color balance. Okay, now this color balance, what I like to do is I'm gonna select the midtones for now. I'm just warming up the image here. Now obviously every image is gonna be different. Uh, so you're just gonna have to eyeball it, but conceptually all the layers are gonna be the same. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is create a levels layer. Now what we're gonna do is bring up the shadows, just enough until you're satisfied, okay? The next thing we want to do is with levels highlighted, we're going to go to image, apply image, and then we want the channel to be RGB, we want the uh, blending mode to be multiply, and we want the opacity to be 100, but we want to click on invert here, okay? Okay, and then we're going to do it one, t one more time, image, apply image, press OK, and then this is going to be our before and after of the edits that we've already applied. So with just two two layers already we're softening up the image it's looking more and more like a uh, natural light shot and I kind of like it it's more the uh, it looks more and more like the visco type of film look next thing we're gonna do is add another levels layer I find it easier to just add another layer instead of selecting the blue channel in the current layer simply because if from experience if you have to go back to see what changes you made uh, it's easier to just look at the layers versus the channels within the layer. In addition to that, if you don't like the change that you made, it's easier to delete the layer than to go back into the layer, select the channel, and then reset the channel. For this layer, we're gonna select blue. And then we're just gonna add some blues in your shadows. Okay, just like that. I'm already liking it and we're only three layers up or three steps up. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our vignetting. Now the thing about vignetting, I think though, let me just, I'm thinking I'm gonna drop this down a little bit. There's a little bit too much blue here. Let me just reset this. Uh, that looks good right there. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add vignetting. Now, the, the common vignette, so let me hit D on the keyboard to reset my color palette. People like to vignette like this. I. I don't like vignetting like this. I mean, it's, it's too strong. The secret to vignetting is to add a vignette that nobody knows is even there. So it's so subtle that you don't even know that it exists until you disable the layer and re-enable to see the differences and then it's a big difference. So what we wanna do is, let's delete this layer here. We're gonna add a blank layer. We're gonna make sure hitting the D key on our keyboard that the color palette is reset. We're gonna hit our paint bucket tool and then we're just gonna paint over the whole image. From here, we're gonna click on the mask tool and all we're gonna do on the opacity is decrease it somewhere in the middle. It's just enough so we can see where the model is. And then we wanna make sure our brush is selected and our color is black. Next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint right over our model just like that. Now, the reason why we want a vignette in this way is that it allows the background to decrease in brightness by automatically making the model increase in brightness it's just it's all relative so if you decrease the colors in the back the colors in the front meaning the brighter colors will increase just from the eye now technically that's not true but it's all uh, perception so what you want to do now is you want to bring that layer down all the way back to zero and again the secret to a vignette is if you don't even notice it's there so you bring the opacity down to zero then you slowly bring it up until you can slowly see the vignette come in and that's it I'm at 18% of this layer here, but if I take this layer off, you can already see the difference it's made, okay? But if you were to just look at it like this, you wouldn't even be able to tell it's there. All right, moving on to the next one. We're already four layers deep. Uh, we're gonna add saturation. Now the thing about saturation is you can also, for this, is uh, select black and white. 
and this image actually looks good in black and white but with black and white you have more control over the black and white but I'll get into this in a different video if you want to see more uh, tutorials and editing so for now we're just going to keep it simple we're going to add the saturation layer and all we're going to do is decrease the saturation to zero okay from here we're going to go to soft light and already that's a really cool looking effect but we don't want it that strong so we bring the opacity all the way down to zero once again and we slowly bring it up until you like what you see and i kind of like it there at 22 percent right and um, all of these changes are all subtle changes but as it grows it becomes more and more apparent the next thing we want to do is add a lot more warmth to this photo but it's the entire photo so what i'm going to do is add another blank layer and we're going to do the same thing with the paint bucket the difference is we're going to select yellow and i'm just selecting between the yellow and the orange layers here i'll just select the middle there there's no exact science for it i'm just clicking on anything so i like that yellow i'm going to hit the mask button uh, and then i'm going to go to image apply image i'm going to deselect the invert and press ok now i don't know if youtube is going to show this but you can kind of see the model come in now all right image apply image again and we're going to keep going until you're satisfied until you actually see the model start coming uh, appearing through the yellow just like how you see now image apply image once again and by deselecting the invert where it's applying it to the highlights which is where we want it and again now we bring it down the opacity to zero and we just bring it up just enough to your liking and this is uh 18 percent on mine again i'm just going by eye because every image is going to be different all right so the next thing i want to do is add another color balance layer and i'm going to go to highlights and i'm going to increase some yellows into the highlights okay then i'm going to go into the shadows and put some blues into the shadows just like that all right so that looks that looks really good already now we're already one two three four five six seven in and then our eighth layer is obviously just going to be the brightness okay maybe decrease some contrast if you want to okay but i think my image looks good just the way it is so all you need to do now is create a stamp visible layer by hitting the shift option command and e and what that'll do is create a stamp visible layer in which you can add a filter to either sharpen it with the unsharp mask but because i want this to be more of a film look what i'm going to do is add some noise and i'm going to go to noise add noise just like that then i'm going to press ok and then that's my image okay so now let's look at the before and after we're going to group all of our changes into one we're going to go to bef before after before after okay in fact after looking at this i think i'm going to add some brightness here just to give it a little bit more brightness there that looks more filmy type of looky filmy look kind of thing before after before after thank you very much for watching if you like this video please hit that like button if you want to see more video tutorials like this please post in the comments below and if you want to see more photography related type of videos please hit that subscribe button and i have to say thank you very much to my current subscribers today i know i don't have very many but i really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button and um, i hope to see you in the next video see ya